Hi, I'm Matt from SurveyTech and this is a quick video about the Geomax Zoom 3D, a uh, mini robotic reflectless measuring machine. Now we're going to be controlling it with the Panasonic FZ M1, which is a ruggedized Windows tablet, but you can use it on any other Windows device. And in fact, they're bringing out an Android version. So when you open up XPad, this is the first screen that you see. And it says, do you want to create a new job? Open last job. So create a new job, you can write whatever you want. D for demo, tick. New job, create. And then you're in. If you want to measure, that's the first thing you do. So you tap measure. Now you create your connection. You don't have to choose Wi-Fi, you can also choose USB. So it connects directly by cable to the instrument, which can be good if there's a lot of other Wi-Fi, or it can be easier if you're going to be next to the instrument. Then it has a little circle. You can go and have a cup of tea or something. <laughs> And there it is, the ping means that it's connected. So when you're in measure, the first thing it asks is, do you want to define the reference height? That basically just means you can point it at the ground. And by the way, though it is all robotic, you can move it around as much as you like. So point the laser beam at the ground and you can set that as your reference height. And you do that by pressing measure. There you go. Reference elevation zero because it's the ground and you're ready to go. After you've defined the reference height by pointing it at the ground, you then need to measure two points that become your reference point and they're what orientates your drawing. Now these are often easier if you do maybe two top corners so you know where you're starting from. The way you orientate yourself with this is you can simply tap the screen. We can move with these arrows. But if you want to move quickly, put it on the general area. Click top corner and then allow the robot to find the top corner for you. And there you go, it's found the top corner. When you're on this screen, you can bring up your CAD drawings by pressing the button in the top right. And that shows you the drawing, where the instrument is and where you are. You can even bring them up side by side so you can see where we're pointing to. And then when you measure, it shows it knows that we've moved, but that's not all. If you're doing a point, there are lots of other options. So you, you could draw an arc, a line, a circle, or even a square using two points. So if we did that on this picture, we measure, and then we bring this up to the second point measure again, it draws a square for us. You can see our square in 3D as you move around. Now this video is just meant as a brief introduction rather than really delving down into all of the different features you can use, but I hope that it becomes clear how easy and simple it is to use. It's really just point, shoot the laser, and then you build your drawing from there. And because you have CAD inside the CAD drawings inside, you can really save yourself work later on. If you've got any other questions about how it works or would like a demo in real life, get in contact through the website or leave us a comment below. Thanks for watching.